when driving near a collision scene, what should you do? A. Slow down and stop to look at the scene. B. Maintain your speed and drive past the scene. C. Turn around and find an alternative route. Answer. B. Maintain your speed and drive past the scene. This question came in March 2023 exam. When should you move an injured person from a vehicle collision scene? A. When the person is not walking and talking. B. When the person is in a burning vehicle or in other danger. C. When you have medical experience and can safely move the person. Answer. B. When the person is in a burning vehicle or in other danger. If a single person is injured in an accident, what is the least amount your insurance must cover according to DMV standards? A. It is optional. B. No amount, if it is a minor injury. C. $15,000 for a single death or injury. Answer. C. $15,000 for a single death or injury. Questions 4 to 10 came in the recent exam. You are on a two-way road and the vehicle ahead of you is turning left into a driveway. You may legally pass the vehicle on the right. A. If there is enough road between the curb and the vehicle. B. Even if you must drive in a bicycle lane to do so. C. Even if you must cross a solid white line painted on the road. Answer. A. If there is enough road between the curb and the vehicle. If you see a pedestrian with a guide dog or white cane waiting to cross at a corner and stepping away from the intersection, this gesture usually means A. The pedestrian is waiting for a ride and does not intend to cross. B. The pedestrian wants you to go first. C. The pedestrian is about to cross the road. Answer. B. The pedestrian wants you to go first. Which of these statements is true about driving and taking medications? A. Most cold medications can make a person drowsy. B. Over-the-counter medications cannot impair driving ability if taken in the recommended dosages. C. Medications are safe to take at any time if prescribed by a doctor. Answer. A. Most cold medications can make a person drowsy. If a vehicle, pedestrian, or bicyclist gets to an intersection without stop or yield signs at the same time as you, who should you yield to? A. The vehicle, pedestrian, or bicyclist on your left. B. The vehicle, pedestrian, or bicyclist on your right. C. The vehicle that arrives at the intersection first has the right of way. Answer. B. The vehicle, pedestrian, or bicyclist on your right. Is it mandatory to stop when you encounter a flashing yellow traffic signal light? A. Yes, you should always stop. B. No, but you should proceed with caution. C. Yes, but only if there's cross traffic. Answer. B. No, but you should proceed with caution. If you see double solid white lines on the road, what does it mean? A. You can change lanes freely. B. They separate two lanes of traffic going in the same direction. C. A lane barrier between a regular use and a preferential use lane. Answer. C. A lane barrier between a regular use and a preferential use lane. You must yield the right of way to an emergency vehicle by. A. Driving to the right edge of the road and stopping. B. Moving into the right lane and driving slowly until it has passed. C. Stopping immediately, even if you are in an intersection. Answer. A. Driving to the right edge of the road and stopping. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit in a business or residential district is. A. 35 miles per hour. B. 30 miles per hour. C. 25 miles per hour. Answer. C. 25 miles per hour. It is against the law to enter an intersection when A. You can't get all the way across before the light turns red. B. 
the light is flashing yellow and you didn't stop first. C. The light is yellow and you can stop safely. Answer A. You can't get all the way across before the light turns red. It is night, and a car coming towards you has its high beams on which make it hard to see the road ahead. You should. A. Look ahead towards the left edge of your lane. B. Look ahead towards the right edge of your lane. C. Look straight ahead in your lane. Answer. B. Look ahead towards the right edge of your lane. This question came in April 2023 exam. What is the purpose of a turnout area or lane on a two-lane road? A. To provide a space for emergency parking. B. To provide a space for slower vehicles to allow other vehicles to pass. C. To provide an additional lane for high-speed traffic. Answer. B. To provide a space for slower vehicles to allow other vehicles to pass. This is a tricky question. Which of the following statements is true regarding a right turn onto a road with a dedicated lane? A. A dedicated right turn lane merges into another lane. B. It allows you to make a right turn without stopping. C. You can't make your turn if there is a red light. Answer. B. It allows you to make a right turn without stopping. When stopping behind a vehicle at a limit line, how much space should you leave? A. Enough space to see the other vehicle's rear wheels. B. At least one car length. C. At least three feet between two vehicles. Answer. A. Enough space to see the other vehicle's rear wheels. How far in advance should you signal your intention to exit a highway? A. At least 100 feet before the exit. B. At least 400 feet or 5 seconds before the exit. C. There are no such rules, it depends on your current speed. Answer. B. At least 400 feet or 5 seconds before the exit. When you are going to pass on an open highway, you must. A. Look at the rear view mirror to check your blind spots. B. Speed up quickly to pass the vehicle. C. Look ahead for road conditions. Answer. C. Look ahead for road conditions. Questions 19 to 25 came in the written test. An orange colored sign like this means. A. There is road work ahead. B. Slow moving vehicle. C. There is a detour ahead. Answer. B. Slow moving vehicle. At an uncontrolled intersection where you can't see cross traffic until you are just about to enter the intersection, the speed limit is. A. 15 miles per hour. B. 25 miles per hour. C. 20 miles per hour. Answer. A. 15 miles per hour. Two sets of solid double yellow lines spaced two feet or more apart. A. May only be crossed to make a left turn or U turn. B. Should be treated like a solid wall and not be crossed. C. May be used to begin or end left hand turns. Answer. B. Should be treated like a solid wall and not be crossed. You should increase the distance between your car and the vehicle ahead when you A. Follow a small passenger car B. Are being tailgated by another driver C. Drive slower than the posted speed limit Answer B. Are being tailgated by another driver Under which circumstances are you permitted to drive using only your parking lights? A. 30 minutes after sunset or 30 minutes before sunrise. B. Never under any circumstances. C. On foggy days when visibility is low. Answer. B. Never under any circumstances. Which statement is correct regarding large trucks? A. They require a longer stopping distance compared to passenger cars. B. They all utilize air brakes enabling them to stop quickly. C. They have better maneuverability than passenger vehicles. 
Answer, I. They require a longer stopping distance compared to passenger cars. If you're preparing to turn right at a red traffic light, and there's a pedestrian on the right side of your vehicle waiting to cross the street you intend to enter, who has the right of way when your light turns green? A. Uh, the pedestrian retains the right of way. B. You gain the right of way only if the crosswalk is unmarked. C. You gain the right of way because your traffic light is green. Answer A. The pedestrian retains the right of way. Which statement is true regarding motorcycles? A. Due to their small size, motorcycles can easily be seen by drivers. B. Motorcycles are not allowed to share traffic lanes. C. A following distance of 4 seconds should be maintained when following motorcycles. Answer, C. A following distance of 4 seconds should be maintained when following motorcycles. In periods of overheating conditions, what should you do with your car's air conditioner? A. Keep it at the highest setting. B. Turn it off. C. Send it to a moderate level. Answer, B. Turn it off. In the event that you get stuck on the freeway, the Freeway Service Patrol, FSP, can assist. If FSP can't start your vehicle, how will the situation be handled? A. Uh, call California Highway Patrol, CHP, for further assistance. B. FSP will tow your vehicle to a CHP-approved location. C. CSP will tow your vehicle to a FSP-approved location. Answer. B. FSP will tow your vehicle to a CHP-approved location. If your vehicle stalls or stops while blocking part of a train track with a train approaching and warning lights flashing, what should you do? A. Exit your vehicle and run at least 100 feet away. B. Exit your vehicle and run away from the tracks diagonally in the direction the train is coming from. C. Exit your vehicle and call 911. Answer. B. Exit your vehicle and run away from the tracks diagonally in the direction the train is coming from. What should you do if you are experiencing symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning such as tiredness, yawning, or dizziness while driving? A. Open all windows to let fresh air in. B. Check your engine oil and other fluid levels. C. Have your exhaust system checked. Answer. C. Have your exhaust system checked.